Exciting news at the channel, I crossed 15,000 subscribers. So I'm going to be giving away this New Matter Mod T printer to a lucky subscriber. I'll talk more about it in a future video. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how I made this. A wood sign with my logo that I cut on the X-Carve and then 3D printed some stands for it. I used this at the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. So I'll show you how I made this and some highlights from the festival on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I set up a booth at the 2017 Midwest Rep Rat Festival in Goshen, Indiana. This is one of the biggest 3D printing conferences and it happened just this past weekend. Now the sign that I made is in the back corner but when I would walk away to go check out other people's booths I would move that sign to the center so they knew this was my booth. So let me show you how I made it. I started out with Easel. Easel is an online software for controlling a CNC. It's like the Tinkercad for CNC. So I brought my logo in and I put it to a fill cut so I cut the whole letter at 1 8 inch depth. Then I did this box around the outside which I'm actually going to cut this. This is just a guide of where I'm going to cut so I made that a quarter inch deep. And then I ran the simulation everything looked good so I was ready to send this to the X-Carve. Here's a time lapse of the X-Carve doing its thing. But let me show you another time lapse. I set this up at the beginning of the Rep Rep Festival and I'm glad I did. It was so busy. I was busy all day long talking to subscribers and fans and just people wanting to learn about 3D printing. I tell you, it was awesome. I met so many great people, had some great conversations. They loved the electronics. They loved the 3D printings I had. It was just a lot of fun. Back to the X-Carve and this thing finished up and it looked really good. So now I put it on my table saw to cut it down to a more manageable size. Speaking of tables, check out this 3D printed gear table by Lauren of ABuzz Design. She was in the booth next to me and this thing came out amazing. The next step for my sign was the bandsaw where I cut along that quarter inch deep line to make this a smaller actual size. And speaking of smaller and actual size is this Start T printer. It's an incredibly small i3 design. It's a kit for a hundred bucks. It was loaned to me for my booth and I was amazed at how well it printed. A lot better than the $154 printer I've been fooling with. I finished up on the bandsaw and then I wanted to smooth over the edges and make them rounded so I needed to take this over to my router table. So that's what I did. I routed it out and then after this I can 3D print the legs. Speaking of 3D printing, back at the Rep Rap Festival, I ran into my buddy Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, and he interviewed me for his channel. I had the spool racer, so Jerry, AK Barnacles, became our motor and pushed me, and we proceeded to bust every wheel on this thing. It couldn't handle it. But it was fun. The three of us had a riot, and Joel put it up on his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below. So the sign was done, the edges were smooth, so now I needed to 3D print the stands. I found this generic picture stand by user Lulz Inventor on Thingiverse, but they're too small, so I brought them in the Tinkercad, I made a block the same size as my sign, and then enlarged these stands so they would fit that block. So that was looking really good. And th speaking of enlarged, check out the part daddy. This was back at Rep Rap Festival, the huge printer from Simi CNC. It prints these big prints, and what it was printing here was this chair. People were sitting on this all weekend long. Back in Tinkercad, I needed to get one of those stands out of it, so I selected it and then checked the box to only download what was selected and convert it to .stl. Speaking of .stl and woodworking and everything, check out this clock. It's made from scroll saw plans and then 3D printed. This is by Jason Pruce, and he just does some amazing work. I love his work. I loaded the stand into Simplify 3D, and I made a copy of it, so now I have two stands of identical shape and everything. And then I centered them and printed it on my FlashForge Dreamer via the profile at a 0.3 layer height. And I'm going to use a 25% infill. I won't show you the rest. It was uh, just a standard ABS print for me. Everything looked good, and I'll prove that ABS can print without warping. You just need the right printer. So I'll get these printing, and then I'll show you more of the RepRap Festival. Check this guy out. I don't know, this wasn't actually printing, but it was moving all week on lawn. It just was cool looking. I wish he could have been actually printing something so I know it worked, but what an amazing little setup. Now, I've often thought about building a really big wooden frame 3D printer, and River City Labs had one there. It was really cool. Jim Carter had this at the Matter Hackers booth. It's a working 
V8 engine. I used to race stock cars and I built these things. So the detail on this is actually incredible. I could tell by looking at it. And he had it spinning. So the camshaft was moving and he had metal push rods that the cam was pushing against these rocker arms, which were pushing on the valves, which were on springs. So they actually popped in and out like real valves. Here's a head removed. You can see it. This thing was amazing. Another amazing print was this big jetliner. I would love to play with that if I was a kid. And this blue color filament was just stunning to look at. Over at Polar 3D, he took a select mini printer and made it into a polar coordinate printer by changing the bed to this round disc and gearing that he 3D printed. Just absolutely amazing what he did with that little $200 printer. Next to me was the SLA printer from Peel Poly. This is actually a Kickstarter. And he brought it out so people could see it. This was in the booth next to me. And then I got to meet Daniel Nore. He's the creator of the 3D Benchy. That was a thrill. And I hung out with all the YouTubers. We just had a great time. Well, my prints came out, and here they are. Black ABS. You can see all the stats. They came out beautifully. They're not warped. The finish is nice. My Flash Forge Dreamer does a great job with, F with uh, ABS. So now, let's put these all together, and here it is, the finished sign. I actually put a little paint on the letters and, and the edges, so this was my sign that I took to the Rep Rep Festival. I'm glad how it turned out, so I hope you learned a little something from this. But if nothing else, you got to see some of the Rep Rep Festival. So that's it for this week. This was just a fun, simple little project. I didn't have a lot of time because I was getting ready for the festival, but I used 3D printing and some of my other tools in the shop. So, I don't know, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So if you like what I'm doing here, check out some of my other videos. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon helps a lot. But if nothing else, please subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.